Well, this morning I give God thanks for this great and wonderful privilege to be here with this little group, men and ladies that love God to the depths of their heart. I also ask whosoever will see this picture, please turn over your life to God, whosoever are not doing it, please to do it. Because one thing I want to tell you all, that the coming of Christ is near, that he's even at the door. And we know that there is a great work to be done. And we have to be as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. We know that the king gave others. He was against God's people. And he gave others to take those people and those three men that were serving God that wouldn't bow down to images and he threw them in the fiery furnace. The men that threw those three men, they dropped dead because they were born up. You may ask me why those three men were walking in that fiery furnace and they didn't get born up. You know why? Because there was a hundred percent spiritual. And the fire can burn flesh, but it cannot burn spirit. Those men were fleshly men. Many may say, but how? God shut the lion mouth not to eat up Daniel. Sure, God shut the mouth. How many times God shut in the devil power from going to us? But instead we draw away from the devil. There are many that are leaning upon the devil. But Daniel was so. Daniel was a hundred percent, and the lion could have smelled the power of the spirit, but he couldn't smell nothing like flesh. And the lion was to eat up flesh, but he cannot do nothing with the spirit. So I'm asking this congregation, all who are listening to my voice, Saturday the 9th of May, I will complete 73 years. And I'm serving God from a child. I received the Holy Spirit when I had 42 years. When I had 23 years. And now I'm serving the Lord in spirit and in truth more than 50 odd years. Serving God and doing His will. I passed through war, bullet through my mouth, and the Lord says, You stay and keep your hand up in the air in on that boat and my hands in the air. And the bullet passed in my eyes and my mouth. Some American says, Miss Lady, uh, you are shot. I says, no, sir. He says, don't you tell me. I says, no, sir. They lift up because I had a lot of curl. They lift up the curl. I says, well, no. And the next one comes, he says, Miss Lady, you are shot. I says, no, sir. He says, don't you tell me. I says, no, sir. My God is great. And he searched and he says, believe me, your God is great. Brother, I had to hold up my hands for hours until I get to Bluefield, without put my hand down, they threw a bomb, and the bomb went and killed who they was to kill in the boat, and all these things, and Sister Ruby is still here to wow. preach the word of God. Yes, I give God the praise, the glory, and the honor. Once I went to a all-night prayer, and a lady, I gave a message to the pastor, and he fell on the ground, and he was muddy up, and a lady says, a minister wife says, look at the minister, how he is full of mud on his shirt. So the next minister wife says, I would want to see something greater. And after that, I left and I went to pray and minister to other people. And when I felt someone hauling in my hand, and I couldn't because I was praying and delivering message. Yeah. So after I got through, I says to one, who it is that hauling in my hand? The pastor said, it was I. He says, but now it's too late. A boy had 22 minutes since he died. And we wanted you to pray, but now we have 22 minutes, no help. I says, let's go. And we went and I put him there, put him on a table. And I cry out to God and need him like I was needing flour. And into that I heard a little noise. And when I look, he opened his eyes. 
and his father screams and he says, Your name won't be Marlon Sito. Your name will be Lazarus because you are raised from the dead. And that boy is playing the guitar, he's playing the piano, and he's working. One day he came here and a man, a man, he come and he hugged me and he kissed me. He says, You know me? I says, No. He says, I'm Lazarus that was raised from the dead. So he hugged me and he cried and we glorify the name of Jesus Christ. So I am giving these few words to all that are paying attention and listening. Christ coming is near. And I want the world to know that there's two things that we are sure of. And one is death. And the next one is the coming of Christ. We are sure if we live in holiness, we are going to meet it. And if we live in sin, we are going to meet it. So each and every one, I would give you this great advice. Be a Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Obeying God. The king came out and he said, I saw four men. He says, and you are throwing it three? They says, yes. And he called Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I asked many people, I says, and where the other four men was? Where he went? They look at me, they said, he went to heaven. I says, no. Where he went, and I have to tell them, he went direct into Nebuchadnezzar's heart and pick up your soul by your side and change him. That he says from today, anyone raise up report against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego will be cut in pieces and thrown in the dung hill. So that poor man went direct into the king's heart. And even through Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego obediency, that king was saved. We can save president, we can save king, and we can save others just through the obediency to the word of God, doing his will. So may God bless each and every one. I'm sending regards to the churches. Anyone that hear these few words, it's a little lady, small. Yes, you will see me. I'm very small. My mother died when I had two years old, and I... I'm here serving God in spirit and in truth 50 odd years. Yes, so God wants us to honor him and to serve him. And I went to death door lately in about two months ago. I said, Lord, I am ready. He says, no. You are the babe of my eyes and I have work for you to do. And I'm going to add unto your years as I did to Hezekiah. So I just give God the thanks, the praise, the glory, and the honor. I may not be worthy enough. But the Lord loves us when we honor him, love him, and serve him because God is a jealous God. So my friend, don't you all forget these words. If you live for the flesh, then the fire will burn you up because the fire looks for flesh. But if you look for the spirit, the fire nor nothing will have power over us because the spirit is powerful direct from God. So I am asking each and every one of you, remember God's word says, hot for him, because if we are lukewarm, he will spew us out of his mouth. So my beloved sister, brothers, and everyone, there are some hunting up your soul, your side, right now that are listening to me, that they are thinking about their study, they are thinking about the future of their property, the future of the riches, and the future of other things. But I want to tell you all that vanity. And what we have to think of right now is upon our future home in heaven that Jesus Christ went to prepare. And he says, I'll come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, he may be there also. Praise God, my brother and sister. Hand up your soul. God is real. We have to love him, honor him, adore him, live for him. He's a jealous God. And one thing I'm going to tell you all, don't forget. I remember the Lord Jesus Christ told his disciples, don't even pass to the Gentiles, the street of the Gentiles. Now going to Samaria, but go to the last sheep of Israel. But through their disobedient to God, God engraft us in the tree of life. And now we, the Gentiles, we have eternal life. That we will have power to judge even angels. Because God sent the angel down to give words to the people and they take the woman for the wife. And they are in prison. And I'm going to let you all know that Christ's death wasn't just so. 
Christ's death was of great price to give us eternal life. Christ's death was to go to hell to get the key of hell. So I want all of you to know that God has the key. Jesus Christ has that key of hell. And we are going to judge angel. How beautiful it is. We that are so poor. We may be poor in wealth and anything else, but we are rich in spiritual work. So my beloved friends, think upon your spiritual life. Christ is coming. And God don't want no one that will think upon the flesh and do the fleshly work. Do the spiritual work for Christ and you will have your eternal life. So may God bless you and goodbye until next time. If God spare my life and this brother come back, I'll send more message to you all. Amen. Okay. Thank you. Okay. There you go.